that for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven so it was last weekend as more than 1000 women all over Cameroon converged in Yaoundé under the canopy of the first national women's convention for peace in the nation to seek for meaningful solution in ending the conflict in the northwest and in the southwest region of the country and other conflicts that have plagued Cameroon, the conflict of the northwest and the southwest region, which has been baptized as the Anglophone crisis, as the war of the Amazonian, as the war within the Anglophone region, regardless of which side of the eye you stand, started as a peaceful protest in 2016 before metamorphosing into a full-blown armed conflict in late 2017-2018. This is not the first time that we have seen women in Cameroon protesting and calling for an end in the conflict. They were last seen in Kumba last year when they were demanding for justice for the souls of those who were killed in Kumba by armed men. The students that were killed by armed men in Kumba, they protested and demanded that those responsible should be brought to book. This time around, the women have come again as one force to put their heads together to see how they can give a meaningful solution or propose meaningful solution to the belligerents and their partners to put an end to the war that has claimed thousands of lives, displaced thousands who are in Nigeria and some are already still in the bushes and others are in other regions of the country. Lives and properties have been destroyed and a lot of suffering has been meted on the people in the northwest and the southwest region. As the women come together to see how they can propose meaningful solutions, some have criticized the move. They have captured it a second major national dialogue which is doomed to fail under them they say those who were to be as the women leader were not there and that the women of the non state armed groups too were not consulted so that they can also give their own version on how peace can return to the nation but the question we should be asking ourselves as Cameroonians is can they come together of the women first national convention put an end to the existing conflict in the northwest and the southwest region reunite the country in all in the country in other areas that need unity fight against tribalism and nepotism in the country or will this move be hijacked by politicians and warpreneurs as has often been the case in cameroon this is house of commons with me tamai javis <laughs> Since 1993, EUG is three schools, LSG, ISTA, ISA, three ultra-modern campuses with more than 40 specialties in BTS, HND, DSEP, professional bachelors and professional masters, more than 15,000 graduates and more than 150 million francs scholarships granted to students, many national and international partnerships, and more is still to come. At EUG, we train leaders since 1993. Welcome back from that transition. If you are just joining us, you're watching House of Commons, and that was the editorial for today. Today in the studio, as we look at the topic, can the uh, Women Convention help to put an end to the existing conflict in the Northwest and Southwest region? Can they just end the Women National Convention, stop the killings in the Northwest and in the Southwest region? We have our guest with whom we are going to have a one hour, 30 minute ride. To begin with, I introduce to you Senior Barrister Achu uh, Emmanuel, who has been fighting so hard to ensure that justice, peace, and stability return to Cameroon. It, 
He is also the chairman of his party and he is there to ensure that the words are given the way it is, not the way people think it should be. He is a man of his word. Senior Barrister Actually Manuel, you're welcome to the program. Thank you, Tamai Javis. Good afternoon, Sir Mutanga. Good afternoon, Sariki, if you, if, if you don't want us to call the title. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, televiewers. It's always a pleasure being with you. Uh, thank you, Senior Barrister Ashu Emmanuel. How is the Reform Party doing? Well, the uh, Reform Party is waxing strong. We are waiting for the first opportunity to show our friends that uh, we know what they think. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much, Senior Barrister Ashu Emmanuel. And also in the studio, we have um, Pastor Sulamine. Um, as you heard last week, Saturday, it was, uh, you know, busy in Kumba as uh, we went to see how the mm -hmm. he was being installed as a saliki mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you're welcome sir yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you uh well uh greetings to my fellow panelists greetings to our family listeners outside there you know we have converged ourselves at the studio of uh media prime uh house of common to you know uh, digest and debate on selling issues affecting our country so just stay put and listen as we continue. Uh, thank you very much. You have the Social Democratic Front. How's the party doing? Uh, well, we are trying now to restructure the basic organs of the party because since the beginning of this crisis, uh, the party has gone into doldrums, into silence, and uh, also the NEC has appointed some committee members to, within the regional levels to go and see where, uh, to see that they revamp the basic so the organs and structures of the party from the wards uh, to the district and uh, maybe to the regions, to the divisions up to the regions. So we are waiting for those guys who have been man mandated by NEC to start their work. So all is set. We are waiting for them. Uh, thank you very much. Um, and of course, just to note that you are coming from the southwest region, Kumba, to be more precise. Yeah. And um, we understand it's not been easy getting to Duala today. Yeah, today we know when we're coming today. Uh, we're told we saw the military at uh, just after a corner where those guys used to check a uh, first mass that a bomb has been put, uh, planted there. So the military were there trying to, they are succeeding in detonating the bomb and they are trying to dock, dig it out. So, so I think uh, they were doing a wonderful job. They're outstanding and remarkable. We thank them for that. That's a good job. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Also here in the studio, we have Sir Mutaga, who is of the Camus Renaissance Movement, the CRM Party. Sir Mutaga, evangelist to be more precise. Also, you're welcome to the program and a happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you, Mr. Tama Jarvis, and uh, happy Sunday to Senior Barrister Ashu Emmanuel, that we're meeting after three years. And uh, happy Sunday to... Uh, my uh, co-panelists of the SDF, happy Sunday to all the uh, millions of televiewers of uh, my Media Prime TV, especially this special show, the House of the Common. Special greetings to the uh, militants of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, and especially to the President-elect, Professor Maurice Kamto, who is watching this program right in the nation's political capital, Yaoundé. Permit me use this opportunity to uh, wish happy Sunday to the uh, Women's Wings President, uh, Metro Awasu Mispa, that is in Douala. She was here yesterday uh, to dialogue with the uh, women and uh, to inform them that she, has, she was convocated to appear before the military court of Yaoundé on the uh, feet of this month, part of the uh, intimidation of the uh, Bias regime. Remember, it's regrettable for a democracy that is only on papers. And whereas when we want it to be more practical, you see there are means and all the like that will be used by the regime in place to pull back the process, and this is not good for the image of our nation. Uh, thank you very much. How, how is your party doing? Uh, the CRM is uh, working stronger, uh, despite the fact that we have uh, some of our top uh, party officials in prison. I'm talking of... Uh, Mr. Bibu Nisak, who doubles as the uh, advisor and the spokesperson to the president-elect. We have Mr. We, uh, Mr. Zambo Pascal, that's the national secretary in charge of implantation. And then we have the treasurer, the uh, national treasurer of the CRM, Professor Alain Fogge, Tedom, and a host of others who are still in prison. Remember, last 22nd of September, they went into the street uh, asking for uh, a peaceful uh, resolution to the crisis plaguing the two English-speaking regions of okay. Cameroon and for the consensual reforms of the electoral system. 
but the regime in place only had to pay them with imprisonment. Okay. You can imagine it. <laughs> that is the country we say is a country where there is freedom of speech, okay. there is political rights. <laughs> so you can imagine it. Of course, here we'll be having Barrister Ashu, uh, uh, Achu uh, Julius on this seat for the CPDM party. He is on his way and he will be joining us. As you can see, we already have his, a seat reserved for him and we already have all the other members here present. So we kick start today's program immediately. I start with you, Senior Barrister. Uh, senior Barrister, when we look at the convention, the first women convention, first of all, as a party chairman of the Reform Party and as an Anglophone and how do you look at this, the, the, the meeting itself, the first meeting? What came to your mind? Well, uh, I have to thank the organizers of the meeting, first of all, for thinking, um, for bringing forth the idea of bringing people together. It's always a nice thing when people come together to look at uh, issues, or at burning issues. Uh, but um, the purpose for which they are coming together, to see to it that peace returns to the uh, to the, to southern Cameroons, uh, that one is that is where it triggers some mixed feelings in you because we all know that the the the, the absence of peace is due to uh, war, civil war, and uh, these women, to the best of my knowledge, are victims. We've seen them cry loud and publicly. We've seen women of uh, uh, CRM go much naked in the streets of Yaoundé. I mean the gone to that extent we've seen women in bamenda take to the streets to protest kumba also boya i mean you are calling the victims to come and sit down i don't know whether you're whether they intended that this men should cry together because if it is to stop the war the war can only be stopped by the warring factions so meaningfully uh the, the, the these people ought to engage the much needed dialogue that we have been crying for let them engage the dialogue for, let the warring parties sit on the table and end this bloodshed you carry women and put them together to wine and dine in the name of discussing peace well uh, in other countries we have seen how women have uh, participated in bringing an end to crisis uh, let me just propose to this women because i like they are coming together but i am criticizing the purpose of which they came together i'm saying that dear women if you want to come together to end this uh, civil war the better thing for you to do is to go to the people who are causing the trouble we know that we have the military on one side the government forces on one side and the uh, the restoration forces on the other now if you want to look, target the government, then you come forth with some argument that can make the people move on both sides. Whether it's the resolution forces or the government. If you women decide, I am telling you that this thing will come to an end and I will give you the proposal. Now, if you women were to decide to use your bottom power, starve these men. Please, sensitize and starve them. Just say two weeks. All the women in the country decide to starve their men. You understand what I mean? Sexually, don't serve them. See whether those who are in charge of deciding will stay put. Refuse to give them food. Let's see whether they will not solve this crisis. Instead of going to sit in the Congress hall to wine and dine, please take moves like that one. Refuse to keep them food. Refuse them in bed. Let us see how they will continue to uh, uh, sustain a crisis that has no head. I think that is what I would want to propose to the women. Don't go and eat and drink. Take measures. Don't march in the street. Stay in your houses, sustain your friends, refuse to serve these men. Let us see how they will continue sustaining the war. Um, senior Barista, is that not a violation to of matrimonial duties? Violation of which matrimonial duty? I am a lawyer. I am telling you that if the situation is uh, uh, unbearable, where your children, where women lose their husbands and lose their children. A woman who becomes a widow, does she have any matrimonial duty anymore? So this is a situation where those women who are still alive should stand up and put pressure on the men so that the crisis is brought to an end. Let the men sit on the table and discuss. 
Um, Mr. Sulaiman, you are of the Social Democratic uh, Movement, uh, SDF. We've seen these women, they've come together regardless of the different political parties. Do you think that they, they can pull the string of peace in the trouble hit area? And do you tie with senior barrister that um, they should go to the right channel and not just coming together in Yaoundé? Yeah, what I want to say here is this. Uh, women, they are mothers. They give birth to all of us. And... Uh, Women have a lot of compassion and melancholy with them. They are very sorrowful. You see, a woman, even when a, when a, when a, when a father is, is using excessive force on a child, a woman, a, the mother becomes so annoyed with the father. She becomes so annoyed. So uh, a, 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 a woman is, is somebody that, uh, that uh, uh, as I said, that a lot of compassion, uh, a woman, no matter how big you are, no matter how rich you are, as far as she's your mother, she still looks down on you as a child. And when you are sick, when you have problem, she comes by your side if she's alive. She still look back at the trauma she had nine months ago by taking you in her womb for nine months, nurse you and bring you up. That's woman for you. So women now are seeing that these people who are, this carnage that is going on, this killing that is going on, Eh? This barbaric alert is going on on both sides of the eyes. They are losing, parents are losing their children. Women are losing their husbands. Women are becoming overnight widows with liabilities left to them. And nobody is there to account for it. On this, on, it's, at least it's on this premise that the women decide to come together and say enough is enough. Let's hold this convention and put our demand straight to the government. Let us tell the government our true position, where we belong. Let this killing stop. Let this killing stop. It's a domestic affair. We can resolve it and make it through dialogue and discussion. Uh, Cameroonians cannot be killing Cameroonians. And we are falling our arms, no watching. We are killing ourselves. People's children are dying. People's uh, husbands are dying. And nobody cares. Nobody is talking. See what the Boko Haram did already. Who state army military officers. These are people's children. And, and these women, they have every reason dated to come together and say, enough is enough. Let this killing stop. Let this killing stop. Let us go for dialogue, discussion, so that we may reach an amicable compromise. Eh? That's the way forward. Eh? That's the roadmap to resolve this matter. And again, the irony of it all is that all what they are discussing, all what they are discussing, this, the government is very stubborn. This government is a stubborn government. The government always believe that they have a the they will not a they have the instruments of oppression they can to use and you to sign any situation but i think this thing started in Boya some year ago women them protested in Boya. i think it was last year last few years and because of this it has come to your own day we don't know the next line of where it's going government look you listen to these women, they are our mothers, they gave birth to us, and they will not fall down and see their children dying, their husband dying. That is why they have come together, mobilized more than 1,000 delegates, almost a 1,000, to come and discuss silent issues affecting them directly. It pains them if they see children dying carelessly for no good reason. A food, a thought, what is it? A food for a thought is sufficient. So what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that the government should listen to the women. The women are there the women are there too. They are there to make sure that the government listens to them. Okay. They have killed their children. They have killed their husband. They are dying on both sides of the eye, and nobody cares. So definitely, Mr. Mr. Davis, I think uh, uh, the government must listen to the women. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sulaiman. Um, you said the government must listen to the women. And I want to ask to you this before getting to Semutaga. Um, the women protested in Kumba. I was in Kumba when this... Uh, students were killed by armed men. They protested, but still now we still have active and conflict in Kumba. Kumba still Kwakwa Nake Bole Ekumbe. Until now, even five government uh, divisional delegates, we've not even heard about them. We've not even we, we don't even know what's happening. And you know, I, uh, can you, this still work? You know, it is it's a very sorry, shocking, and disappointing to see that up to today, more than a month, those five divisional delegates. They are, they, 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 they are, their fate is still undecided. Nobody knows where they are. Nobody knows uh, what the government is doing to, to, to rescue them. They are still in captivity. They are there suffering. Their, their families are there always. They are only not at the mercy of God. They want divine intervention to come okay. they are for, 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 to touch the heart of the, of the kidnappers to let them go because they have lost faith in the government. Okay. As concerning the, 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 
the the armed struggle you see from the beginning even Chibo Nagi told the government that you cannot win this war through the use of force let's go for dialogue and let's is it go for even the non state armed uh, cannot win the war on both sides of the eyes okay that's what he said okay. on both sides of the eyes nobody's going to win the war but we have to go for dialogue Look, no matter how contentious an issue is, no matter how problematic an issue is, no matter how difficult it is, it is only through, through dialogue and discussion that we may reach an amicable compromise or amicable solution. Okay. We've just been joined by uh, Senior Barrister Achu Julius, Senior Barrister Achu Julius of the Camus People Democratic Movement. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Jarvis. I will start by apologizing for my late coming. Uh, I'm happy to be here today, especially besides my learned Senior Barrister Achu Emmanuel. And uh, Sam Mutaga, Thank you. my friend that I love very much, and my friend from Kumba. It's a pleasure being here today. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you, me. sir. Um, uh, let me continue with you. When we look at the coming together of the women, first of all, what came to your mind when you heard the news, and are you positive about it? Very, very positive because, uh, you know, when it comes to peace, it is priceless. And any initiative towards that direction should be encouraged all the time. And I was very happy that the women decided to take the bull by the horns to start by that, by, 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 by doing such a thing. And it's not the first time women have been intervening for peace, for calling for peace, because they are the biggest losers in, this, in, in, the, in, the, war, in the warfare. And their brothers, their husbands are being killed, and they are victims of issues that most, most of them are not, they were not part of it. I think they are following the steps of the government, because let nobody fool you the government has not engaged in a warfare it is only peacekeeping by third degree force you see if you don't understand military parlance you don't understand what that means if it is warfare every day you'll be hearing boom you hear you hear the sound of god it's just because we don't know Cameroon, in Cameroon now it is our first experience to see such a thing but to me it's not a warfare it is not yet there and if it continues it's going to come there you should, you should understand equally that when these things happen yes there's been a misunderstanding yes people have been angry yes people are losing lives yes the economy is being touched yes this is the, the society is scattered what i think everybody or every right thinking person should do is rather than going into the blame game as to who is doing what who has done what who was supposed to do what we should say, look, okay, it is high time let's look for means of sorting this thing out. I will tell you what the government has done. They call it a, a, a national dialogue. Everybody criticizes. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Most of us, everybody, those who are against, criticize. They organize, a, say, okay, well, I want to talk with you guys, but drop your arms and I will not talk with you with guns. You carrying guns, you can't talk with me without guns. How? It's not possible. Drop your guns and let's talk. They don't want it. So we now know those who don't want peace. It is just not the government. In the president, we know now, we now know that those guys who are carrying guns don't want peace. Because you can't be fighting eternally for as long as, uh, as you want. If you, at a certain point in time, we have to drop those things to look at, look at the problems normally. So uh, what the women are doing, I will usually say what the woman does is a call is they've been called up by god almighty to intervene to me it's some sort of a divine intervention and i and i pray that all our brothers and sisters who are hiding or who are carrying guns who are angry should think of peace as an essential part of our society i will go for it let's back up this woman for them to succeed uh, thank you very much uh, senior barrister ashu um let me come to you sir mutaga special advisor to professor maurice Kamto. Uh, the crm well, were they actively represented in this uh, come together of the 1,000 women? And if yes, uh, what proposition did they give? Because I invited the women. They said they were tired. They will come probably next week so that we can have a full resolution as of what went in and out and for the public to be informed since they closed very late so they could not come. But you are of the CRM. Uh, you said Miss Pa was um, here in Douala yesterday. Was she not part of the meeting? Uh, I think that if... Uh the uh, women's president of the uh, women's wing of the CRM was here in Douala. You would notice that she was not part of the uh, rally in Yaoundé. Uh, coming back to the sitting of the women, I want to allude to the Bible. you find that when you go to the book of Esther, when uh, the uh, kings 
uh, chief staff, that's Aman, connived one time for the total annihilation of the, the Jews. She had to discuss with her cousin, uh, Mordecai, on how to persuade the king on uh, stopping that decree that was already signed for the total annihilation of the, the Jews. So you find that the women sitting yesterday for a conference on peace in Cameroon. It started on July 31st. Yes, like you said. On July uh, 29th. July 29th is a clear indication that they have or the opinion that the National Assembly has failed. And uh, if I were to go further, I think uh, it's a call for the President of the Republic to think on dissolving that National Assembly that has been unable to discuss the issue of the Anglophone crisis for over five years. And then another thing the women want to let us understand is that the uh, President's special advisors and all the advisors of the President of the Republic have failed in their duty. Because if you look at what happened in the Bible, you find that the King was equally misinformed by his advisors and those of his government. That is why you see that uh, Mordecai, that was divinely inspired by God, had to disguise the, the sister or the cousin to meet the king and then beg on the king to see on taking an alternative, maybe uh, to cancel the decision. So it's another uh, clear indication that they rejoined the CRM to think that the uh, former national dialogue was a fiasco. It didn't work and that today uh, all Cameroonians at large should be thinking on how each and everyone should be talking of peace, like uh, Basachu Jesus just said, we should be talking of peace. And you know when they want to stop the war, when on in the Northwest and South region, or to stop a war in general, uh, we don't think, we don't more sit and begin to think of those who have died. We try, we have to do everything possible to prevent people from dying. So today, what I will say is that uh, let not this women's movement just be uh, maybe uh, a way to seek popularity. It's, if it's a way to seek popularity, because we know maybe Mr. Abia will soon be calling for make, uh, uh, in, uh, initiating a cabinet reshufflement, and uh, some of these women think that maybe by uh, figuring in the national conference, it will be a way for them to be noticed and then uh, picked up to still join the ruling CPDM in place. Like, we of the CRM hold it, we think that if we have to end the war going on in the Northwest and Southwest region, there are real actors that need to be called at the table of dialogue. They call them to the table of dialogue. We have Ayuk Seko that is still in prison. I said it one time on this platform, that only the one that calls a feast know how long the feast would, would, would stay, or how the duration of the feast, because he's the one that sponsors the feast. He's the one that spends his money. It is not the, uh, the master of ceremony that determines the duration of the feast. All those they are going around consulting them who are just normal citizens who don't even care about what happens in this nation. Because if you look at those who pick arms, those of the Northwest and Southwest region, they were the people that felt the, 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 the pinch, or maybe, let me say the pain of what is called marginalization in the Northwest region. And they said they could not just sit like that and they had to go into the street in October, that's what, October 2016, then there were no arms. Some of them had to protest, asking the government to take minimum, uh, uh, meaningful stride. Maybe the President of the Republic signing decrees, uh, let me not even sign decrees, it should be, uh, if there is any decision that was to be taken, okay. it should be debated in the National Assembly on the fate of the Northwest and Southwest okay. region, and then part of it... Let me do a of what, for up. Yes. Let me cue in. Uh, Senior Barista Ashu said the government of Cameroon has done a lot in resolving this uh, this conflict. Barista Ashu said first that um, the call for the Grand National National Dialogue, and um, and also I'm sure that he also talked about the issue that um, you know the government has been putting in some strategies to resolve this conflict. That the government is not using the third degree forces. That the government is not that with the war is uh, the government is in the third degree forces to maintain peace and stability. Uh, but you are talking about the fact that the the president advisors have failed. The major national dialogue has failed. The national assembly has failed. In all these, are you stating that? Um, the women are just coming in as a smoke screen or what? Because we have seen the, you know, we've seen the uh, regional assemblies as fallout, we've seen the Bangladesh Commission. 
uh, as fallout of the 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 Bamenda uh, interministerial committee, and you know we've seen how. Mr. Tua, we know that women are very influential. We cannot undermine their, their strength, their force, because it said what a woman wants, God equally wants it. That's what they say in French. Ce que la femme veut, Dieu le veut. Those fighting the war in the northwest and southwest region, they didn't fall from heaven. They have mothers, and I think those women are their mothers. Those fighting the wars, they are not people who don't have uh, wives. They have those women who are their wives. Like I said, if this initiative would only, is only based on the fact that these women want to seek uh, a certain kind of popularity, you know what it's, it's in our nation. Most often people want to be known because they want to begin to see how they might be appointed to a post of responsibility mm -hmm. in, the, in, in the regime in place. If it is a meaningful way to bring peace in the northwest and southwest region, I think they would have to continue. We know that the regime in place, they are not afraid of our men sitting and talking. It's when they're sitting and talking does not go. There are other ways they can go in, like into the street protesting. They march. The regime is afraid of, 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 of peaceful <laughs> marches. <Okay. laughs> Even though they will tell you that, you look, for example, they, they, they just said a, a, a week ago that they had to ban the CRM march that was supposed to take, a peaceful uh, protest that was supposed to take place in Yaoundé okay. on the 25th of uh, July because of COVID-19. But we saw what happened in Edea yesterday. We saw what happened in, 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 the, in the West region. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Senior Baisa, I want to come to you... Um, Senior Vice Ashu, Ashu Emmanuel, when we look at the fact that Vice Ashu said we are still at the level of third degree forces maintaining peace and order, and we are seeing we have seen other initiatives like this hijacked by politicians and entrepreneurs who infiltrate these women and use them for their political motive. Do you see a possible hijack, or you see that these women will now go through? They've learned their lesson and they are going through. A rose in any other name will still smell as sweet. You rebaptize the civil war and call it security operation by use of 10 degree forces. It doesn't change anything. It is still a civil war. It's a war, full blown war. Maybe the, the, the operation. Full is blown war. You heard, you heard what he said. Yeah, when he just, when came, he just came. That bomb this was morning. In it was bomb. Ah, bomb. Aha. You cannot be. Digging out bombs, and you talk of 10 degree force bombs. Ha! Ah, God help, help us because that one did not explode. We would have, I don't know how many dead we would have been counting. You see, so uh, the situation is bad. Even on the side of the government, they are still thinking of security operation. What we are seeing, they are calling security operation. Now they are maintaining peace on all that. That's what he said. Please, sir, they should try and halt it there because. We don't want the carnage to go further. What we have seen already is too bad. You have seen that these women are acting in total desperation. Less than a month ago, they wrote to IMF. We saw women write to IMF, two letters. Unfortunately for them, their letters could not go to anywhere because you cannot stop a doctor from attending to his patient. Because IMF, you cannot stop an investor from uh, supervising his investment. IMF is pumping money to Cameroon. You cannot tell them to stop giving money or, from, or recovering their money. You see, that was, you can see that the women are really desperate. They, they will stop at nothing. But the problem here is, this uh, meeting that they are holding, what impact can it have? They are trying to put on the table things that can touch the hearts of the people who are concerned. Will that meeting touch have that effect of touching the heart of the government? Because the person who pulls the, the who has a yam and the knife here is the government. If the government says this thing should end, it will end. But as you said, the government has put in a lot of mechanisms to resolve. Sir, the if the government says this thing will end, should end, it will end. What we are asking here is that there should be negotiation. If the government wants negotiation, it will not take two days. When they decide on the national di uh, dialogue, did somebody ask them? They decided on their own and people came together. So if they want to have a real dialogue now for this thing to end, they will organize it and it will end. So I'm happy my, my, my little colleague is here and he, he has the access to tell them, please, we have suffered enough. Organize a real dialogue. Let this thing come to an end. Because like Mutanga was saying, nobody can win. 
let the secession not think that because they're having some bright day that can lead to them winning the war no the government has the means of buying more sophisticated weapons and the fighting will continue for ages so please huh? the solution is to sit on the table why prolong it why delay it when we can have it now and attain but, but, but the but as you said um the government has called them to drop their arms for dialogue and thank you sir measure national dialogue can, thank uh, you sir let me remind you that uh the u.s the United states and the u.n have asked that there should be dialogue without precondition what you are talking about is a dialogue with condition this time the international community is calling for dialogue without precondition and that is what i am i am supporting dialogue without precondition because if you continue putting preconditions on the table the end product will be that we shall remain inside the blame game uh he has just refused to drop his gun how do you think you are having your own gun your opponent is having your own gun. you ask him to drop his own have you dropped yours have you dropped yours we're well, looking at the legality no, leave that thing leave that thing. in the bush is there legality when those soldiers were dying in the bush there is there legality there no we should stop the blame game sir call for a dialogue without precondition let this thing come to an end that's what we are crying for so now the women's meeting um the women meeting i don't know if um you know other political parties were consulted to send their women for the meeting or was their party consulted we were, never we were consulted. expecting that we were, were never the, consulted. all the different political parties will be consulted to send their i don't know whether a, 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 a crm was consulted i was never consulted i saw it on television like everybody peace is priceless for without peace you cannot go to school you cannot go to the market you cannot go to the hospital you can't do anything but again i disagree with him in total when he said the government has done all its possible best to bring peace and it has failed the government called for grand national dialogue first the they, government started with the interministerial committee in bamenda created the Bangladeshi Commission, redeployment of teachers. Let me learn. The government, he, he talked about Grand National Dialogue. Yes. This Grand National Dialogue was called. I was in this studio that we praised. Yeah, wouldn't it? No, yeah, yeah. Okay. We praised the government for calling that national, Grand National Dialogue. Major. Because we thought that at least a positive step has been taken in the right direction. We shall not try to, we shall, we, we shall, we shall start now resolving some of the contentious issues. Delegates from the Northwest and Southwest came to that with one agenda. They want a federal structure. That one was dumb into the dustbin of history. Mr. Bia continued with his policy of decentralization, appointing his delegates and what have you. That one, he, he, he did not even talk about that federalism, that thing they call federalism. He now created bilingualism and multiculturalism commission. Eh? The aims and objective of that commission is not known to the public. Only insiders of that commission, only insiders of the commission or the president know the aims. These are things that they, they have been set aside. Excuse people. me. These are things that they would have some memoranda to the public, seek an opinion from people to see how people will respond. It was not done. It was not done. Then, he, then there was disarmament and integration commission. <coughs> that one too. The aims and objective is not known. They will have sent memorandum to the public for people to know, contribute their own quota uh, to, for the success of the Bilingualism and Integration Commission. This was not done. Let me tell you something. Anything, all what government is putting is cosmetic, is window dressing. There is no tangible reason for somebody to believe whatever the government is doing is doing for the overall interest of peace in the Northwest and Southwest or Cameroon in general. We have a lot of content. We have we have we have enormous problem facing this country. It's not only the southwest, not the southwest uh, uh, crisis. The Boko Haram's are there. The Balakas are there in the in the, in the central Af in Africa affecting Abrona. And the political problem we have a, people are even undermining that but this political problem is a very fundamental issue that has to be tackled in this country. Okay. So let me tell you, when women came out now to say they want peace, enough is enough. Our children are dying and they have been dying. But we are losing our husband. We want peace. Let government, who, first of all, my party was not represented. The SDA was not represented in that commission. They were not there. I don't know which party was represented. So, the Reform Party too says they were not. We, 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 CRM too says they were represented. not. The SDA was not represented. So I, 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 I begin to, the reason takes any for forming, for organizing that convention is under question mark. 
who who sponsored it? Who gave them a lot of money for the for the convention? Camoyans of goodwill, huh? <laughs> it's Alpino. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you see the whole thing where the where, where we appreciate the good intention of the women, eh, to see that peace reigns in Cameroon, so that eh, things should move very well. Okay. At the same time, there's a question mark somewhere. Who? Um, <laughs> Frederick Elbeck Foundation. Yes, who were the organizers? <laughs> okay, Frederick let's Elbeck let me read some message to come to by the for coming to you so that we yeah. save some time. <laughs> Greetings to you in the studio, especially <laughs> Mr. Mutaga, uh, Barista Achu Julius, and Barista Achu Emmanuel and Co. The women initiative may be good, but those who are charged of implementing whatever they submitted. The submitted are on holiday. I'm afraid nothing will come out of this, uh, of this, uh, of this major national dialogue. Dewum Emmanuel, <laughs> it's, uh, it's good day. Uh, uh, Davison from Muyuka. The no state fighters are not fighting the government, but they are defending themselves. This other one read. He says, um, "Hello, Javis um, and the panelists. Why is Barista actually Judas not calling the guys carrying guns terrorists or thieves?" I will do that. To me, uh, it was <laughs> good for the women to meet and Let's share state this. funds. Uh, and it, to me, it Let's was go good go for the women to meet and they share state funds. Yeah. That was supposed to be stolen by individuals. <laughs> I plead women to keep re to keep <laughs> relying them, rallying themselves and share the state funds. For the women to stop this war, it is far fetched. <laughs> Happy Sunday to the crew on board. It's coming from Fondo in Bafut. Our uh, senior barista. Uh, let me come to you now. He raised a personal issue that the coming together of these women is a litmus test or indicator that the government has failed in resolving this conflict, that it is an indicator that the National Assembly has failed, it is an indication that the President advisors have failed, and an indication that the Grand National National Dialogue was a fiasco. That's why if the women can come together, it means that all of these solutions that have been done have failed. Do you agree with him on that? No, I cannot agree with with such baseless uh, <laughs> revendication. <laughs> <laughs> why are the women together? <laughs> Let me tell you something. They are partners of Amazonia and no. the guys who took up arms. As they are partners, why would they want what why would they want peace? They want you to continue. They are saying the assembly national assembly has failed. There were elections in 2018. They refused to go. 2020. Or 2020 or whatever. They refused to participate. And these are these are elections that will affect the running of the assembly and the local councils, they refused to participate. And now they want to sit outside in their small corners and be criticized what's inside. You see, I don't I don't like any hypocrisy. This is pure hypocrisy. And uh, to me, they are not in a position to criticize what happens in what happens in the assembly because they are not there and they refuse to participate in those elections. But in any case, when I say the government has done a lot, is because what we of the English expression have as a problem is a con the issue of leadership. Everybody is a leader. And as everybody is, is a leader, there's no way one leader or, or will take a decision and, and is supported by another. Look for the peace initiative in what about Switzerland. How many leaders were going there? Nine. And everybody asked for money before coming. I think are those nine going to represent us of the English expression and say no. Okay, now you want people to sit down and talk. Uh, the partner called uh, incited the name here that he should be called up to come and talk. He's going to talk on his behalf. Who voted him? Who made him leader or whatever? In any case, we should go back into history and re examine ourselves and our priorities. Yes, um, I agree that we, as a uh, way of the English special, were marginalized. But I will never agree with the fact that taking up arms is a solution. It is the worst of solutions to ever, to ever try. Look at it this way. People just sit down and limit their history to 1961. But meanwhile, this country as it is has been created since 1884. 1990, in 1919, something happened that separated the country. We came down rights to from League of Nations, United Nations, we became a trustee under Britain and France. Britain ruled us with a special status attached to Nigeria. We had a special status. We were not, neither a country, but something, some entity with a special it status. We fought, uh, we struggled hard, and through a visit, we decided to join our brothers, gain the independence and join our brothers east of the Mongo. We now tried, after some time, we tried federalism, which was vomited in 1972. Okay. As it was vomited, nobody to date, I can, I can call all the presidents of all the political parties, or whoever, all legal minds, 
nobody has challenged that referendum in any in, 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 in any in any uh, constituted authority to, to date. So I like it or not, it was from uh, was vomiting in 1972. NZF has tried to bring it back during elections and uh, which was a big issue and they failed hopefully all over. We are seeing it. Okay. What has government done? You will love Britain so much and their system of governance. What do we do? I give you back the special status and you will go and manage yourself. Ah. So many guys who call themselves Anglophone leaders say, no, 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 this is nothing. But we are sort of lifting for a long time in Nigeria. They say, oh, this is an empty shell. There's nothing there. We can't get anything good out of it. Finally, at the end of the day, what do you guys want? You, you refuse to realize in uh, uh, since 1972 because SDF, that was their main thing on the table. It had never worked. They've now won on the basis of that. You refuse the military system of vomiting out in 1972. They bring us back to the system where we had uh, before 1961. We are still saying it is nothing. Let me tell you. Look, a government is a government. A government doesn't look at the, 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 the small picture. The government acts at the macro level. The bigger picture of it all. You people can be complaining, but they go for the greater good of the majority of Cabronians. Okay. They will always go for that. And the good, the major, the, uh, the major Cabronians as of date, they like the special status. All those who are challenging it are little minorities and those who think that they are more president than president. We have Don't forget that the major national dialogue was organized by people from the Anglophone zone. We have, if we How can the Anglophone zone, who, who claim to be a leader, is the prime minister of the country, if we, organizing something and you say it is bullshit? If we, if At the end of the day, everybody wants to be a leader. If we have, if we don't we, respect our authority. I want us, I want us <laughs> to stay on the queue. I want us to stay on the queue. And you talked about the major, the special status. If we have uh, somebody like Chief Ateme Baku of, um, who is part of those implementing, is challenging the status quo of the, 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 you know, the House of Chief, the special, the special status as it was in Boya. I think that was during one of their first sitting. We have uh, one of the regional councillors in uh, Gokitunja also challenged the, the special, the, 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 the regional assembly and said it was more of a political arm that was put in that they thought they were going in for something that was realistic, but okay. to him it's different that they are imposing agenda and the, the president is afraid to talk. So when we look at all this, is it not still an indication for those who are stating that it is empty, to keep saying it is empty? Or should the actors who are on the field take up their position and act as they are supposed to act? Those guys, the, the, the guys who don't start it, uh, cited, have they resigned? If something is en empty, the first thing you should do is you resign. You pull out of it. Why are you not pulling out? Let me tell you something. It's easy to run your mouth when you don't know the, 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 the substance on the, on the, on the table. I've, I've always say it. The special status, status depends on the personality of those who are there. If they are weak, it will be weak. If they are strong, it will be strong. And you should know that the way Cameroon is, you need to be strong enough to convince another anglophone to say you are a leader okay because of, as of that we have, we have that problem of leadership a prime minister organizes something guys don't see the catch and come over and say it's bullshit on what basis are they saying it this guy has done this guy is a learned guy this guy has been in government for a long time he has a on world of experience he knows what is going on on the ground and what is going on upstairs and diplomacy but somebody who has never even had an iota, one tenth of this guy's experience will come and say, Look, what is done is nonsense. Would on no basis just because he's not there. You see, many are called but few are chosen. It's in the Bible as uh, my brother likes to cite. Many are called but few are chosen. We should learn to organize, we should learn to respect the few who are chosen. My brother, the, I think uh, uh, the responsible officer in your party, they respect you. No matter your opinion, no matter what, what you say has to be accepted to further notice. Okay. And that's how we have to start looking at Cameroon before we can have peace. Thank if you. everybody is constrained authority on its own, means we have 20, 20, 25 million leaders. Samutaga, <laughs> will you agree with uh, Senior Barrister Ashu? And also, are you, uh, will you agree that um, the Women's Convention may be hijacked at the end of the day by politicians and entrepreneurs as we saw in kumba because i was in kumba when the women came together at one point in time politicians if you started giving them money took them one corner and everything died down exactly exactly uh javis i didn't expect uh basashu julius to embrace me on this platform or to kiss me i expected him to use very derogatory <laughs> adjectives to describe the the crm because that is the only thing they know within the CPDM to diabolize their opponents in order 
to expose them to mob justice, and that is not democracy. So I want to tell Barrister Ashu Julius, he said it emphatically that within the Anglo-Saxon culture, everybody is a leader. And he asked questions here that Ayuk Tabe and those who are in prison who made them leaders, you find that they contradicted his statement that within the Anglo-Saxon culture, everybody is a leader. First of all, where was Ayuk Tabe arrested? Was he arrested in the war front with a gun, with a machine gun, with a machet? Did he cut somebody's head? Simply because the government in place recognized him as the leader of the Ambazuna movement. That's why they sent people to Nigeria to arrest him there. It is bad faith to think that Ayuk is nobody. Those who are with him in prison, they are nobodies. So, honestly speaking, if the government, if the BIA's regime will want to solve the Anglophone crisis, I think it's high time somebody told them that the truth is the only thing that sets free. He said of Cameroon existing in 1984, Cameroon from 1984 to 1961 had never been the problem. It's Cameroon after 1961 to date that is the problem. 1961 there was a federal constitution, which I am not a lawyer, but the two of them who are on this platform know that there is an article which said the federal constitution was not to be tempered with. But the Bia's re the Ayuju's regime then continued with Bia. They had to temper with the federal constitution. Today, Anglophones think that there should be more explanation to be made on why the federal constitution was, was, was tempered with. Is it, does it warrant them being arrested, sent, imprisoned? Does it warrant the military option in the Northwest and Southwest region? He said here that uh, it's not war going on in the Northwest region and it's not, it's, it's third degree. The third degree forces are used. Third degree forces are used. I will really ask this question. He wanted to use full uh, uh, strength against who? In the war, first of all. Are they fighting? Are they fighting? Are they fight in Ethiopia? Did, they didn't succeed in Ethiopia. Oh, they, they, didn't su they didn't succeed. They pulled out. Is that what you want for Cameroon? I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you. Is that yeah, what you want? War. You say war. When, war. when there is already exchange of gunshots and other like, it is war. When thieves, when thieves. When war plays, you call partners. those guys. Your partners. Where they come from? Ashu, you, 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 you manage to this Ashu. But Ashu, Julius, let me say something. Those people you call partners of the CROM, they have never been partners. Let me tell you, those who are partners to the war went on. They are the CPDR and the regime in place. Who have money for commissions? Who have money uh, voted in the National Assembly, given them every time to buy weapons and all the like? They are out on missions and all the like. They have um, a commission, a national commission for bilingualism and all the like. So all that money that is flowing in, you find that they use it. I want us to come okay. back on focus. Let's come back on focus. Like you said, I was you asking, see, can you, it be hijacked? Yes, I wanted to answer him. Can it be hijacked? Hijacked by who? That's the by first question. And who are the politicians who hijack things in this nation? Those who hijack things in this nation are the CPDM regime. When the CRM talked of the disarmament commission to be put in place, they had to photocopy it and put the wrong one in place. That's why you see boys at the disarmament center in the, in the southwest region constantly running out into the streets and, and, and causing chaos because the things which were promised to them are not being fulfilled. I want to tell that this... Uh, a conference that is uh, held by the women, it doesn't tie with the, the, the CRM um, uh, 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 rules and regulations because the CRM has as rules before you have to uh, maybe adhere to any organization that is, have, is political. It has to do with the party's uh, uh, endorsement. The party must endorse it. So they didn't table a formal um, uh, application for us to send our women there. That's why you didn't see our women there. They tie with the vision of every Cameroonian. If it ties with the vision of every Cameroonian, we are talking here of uh, uh, things which need to be uh, legally done. Don't forget, if you join those women and tomorrow it turns out to be anything else, they see them with the very first person to say, no, the CRM are uh, 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 supporting terrorists. I'm not like, you know why he said CRM is terrorist organization with, his, the, with the, the Ambazonian? Because his president dumped the militants of the CRM in prison. You wanted them to be in prison without dialoguing with Ayuk Tabe and all the like? 
Were they placed in secret? <laughs> Let me ask a question. Were they placed in separate prisons? They have to buy arms. Yes, I give to. Okay, 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 okay. I thought we are here for a very mature debate. No, 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 it's okay. If it is, if you want, let me tell you something. If you want, if you want, arms. Do you have? Do you have evidence? Do you have evidence? Let's go. Do you have evidence? Do you have evidence of what you're saying? Do you have evidence? Because that you have evidence against the Catholic Church. Again, we are back again, and of course, we are looking at the Just Ended Women Convention. I sent an official note inviting some of them, so they said it ended late yesterday night, so they could not travel to Douala. Next week, Sunday, we'll have them this, to look at what we discussed in it. But here, yeah, we are looking at, as an observer, as observers, we are looking at the picture, if it could help, because they were there fighting or talking about how to put an end to the war that would benefit us. I come back to uh, you, Senior Barista Ashu. Uh, do you tie with uh, what your learned colleague articulated a while ago, uh, stating that no legal mind in Cameroon and out of Cameroon has challenged the, 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 the constitutionality of the 1972 referendum in any competent authority? Uh, thank you, Javis. Well, uh, that that was his statement. That is done to be corrected. That was his statement, and let me just see whether I can correct him. Um, he, he, he first of all started by tracing special status back to the uh, it's English, not. to back to Southern Cameroons and uh, to Southern Cameroons staying in Nigeria. Let me let me remind him. Maybe if he had forgotten. Uh, in 1959. After the Lancaster, the two Lancaster talk, uh, talks uh, that were held, Britain upgraded Southern Cameroons to an independent region within the Federation of Nigeria, changed the name from British Southern Cameroon to Southern Cameroons, and in 1960 uh, endowed Southern Cameroons with, uh, with a constitution that was styled Orders in Council Southern Cameroon Constitution. I have a copy of it. If you like, come, I'll give you. So, Southern Cameroons in 1960 had the status of a state. Let me remind him further that inside Resolution 1608, Article 5, Southern Cameroon, it is referred as the government of Southern Cameroons. You don't mean, I mean, a, a territory with a special status does not have a government. Yeah. That resolution talks of the government of Southern Cameroons should sit together with the Administrative Authority and the Republic of Cameroon. So, that st special status should be limited to what just happened in the major national dialogue. Don't carry it behind. Because behind, Southern Cameroon was a state. It was not a, a, a territory with special status. I mean, let's go back. President. Sir, let us go back to, <laughs> let's go back to 1608 Article 2 that recognized the independence of Southern Cameroon. So I think that we should put history straight. Now, I heard him say, um, nobody has ever uh, challenge the challenge constitutionality. The constitutionality. Be, there again, legal excuse me, sir. There again, uh, let me remind him that what he calls federal constitution was the unilateral act of the parliament of the Republic of Cameroon. I didn't say federal. The unilateral act of the parliament of the Republic of Cameroon. Don't put it to my mouth. Don't the put it to the my mouth. constitution of. That, that was You're talking about the 1972 Excuse referendum. Excuse me, sir. Let us go I back. Never said it about federal no, let us never. go back. Because before you come to federal to, to 1972, in 1961, you cannot ask Southern Cameroon to be bound by the act of another country. I talked of independence in 1961, and you didn't challenge that. Now, they were asked to sit together and batter out the terms on how they were going to live together. Instead of that, while they were in the hall, President Amanda, you send his draft constitution to his own parliament. And it was enacted as the, 19, the 1st September 1961 constitution. 
which was in fact a constitutional amendment of the republic of cameroon's constitution 1960 61. so which is the act of government that southern cameroon put a uh, post that can be applicable to him you see we have been live sitting quiet since 1961 we have never 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 signed any constitution that cancelled the orders in council southern cameroon constitution never and even in all these things that are being done here that constitution has never been mentioned so how as a legal mind can you justify the fact that two countries come together each one having a constitution each one having a parliament because the document that was prescribed in article 16 in the uh, region 68 article 5 is supposed to be a treaty and we all know because today article 45 of, of the federal constitution 1996 constitution says that any international agreement or treaty must be ratified yeah. that goes is the same thing that ought to have happened in 1961 so we should all recognize that things went wrong Okay, let's assume things that went wrong let's, in let's, 1960. Let's, let's assume, assume. Let's assume Southern that Southern Cameroon never, never participated in that federal constitution. Okay, now the assumption. Let's assume things went so wrong. So let us see the table and renegotiate the terms of living to the 1972. Of, no, not to the 1972. We are all Cameroonians. No, no, to 25 million. To, we are all Cameroonians. Let us to, sit on the table to, to, and renegotiate. 25 million Cameroonians. Senior Barista, we are all Cameroonians. <laughs> Senior Barista, if the core political party is not the terrible party, let's not do Senior Barista, now coming back to the issue he raised, 1972 challenge legality, it has not been done. Let me, let me, let me remind you, excuse me, let me come to it because I was taken away by other analysis. A referendum is supposed to go back to the parliament for ratification, was it? Answer, let me course, hear. Of course. Do you have it? And, 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 and you and become the president of the National Assembly. What are you talking about? That's where H.T. Roy became the president of the National Assembly. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? They made it that he became the president of the National Assembly. Did he didn't make it was ratified. He was not ratified by the president. That's the question. He was never ratified. What was the law? Where is the law that the law was? You and the Assembly of the World have issued here. But that's actually my own law. What was the law issued here? Muna was compensated. Muna was compensated. No, come on. Because of his loyalty and allegiance to Ahijo. I will make him the that is your opinion. Let him land, by I should have the time to reply. No, no, let him land. I am saying, senior, by sir, I should let him yeah. land. Let by sir, I should land. No, no, let him land. I will use the Javis. By sir, I should you have time to reply. No, you stop law. Say yes, Mr. Javis. Yes, you are talking about a referendum where people were asked to choose between. He said yes. He said excuse me, now. The choice at the referendum was between yes and we. No, yes and we. No, come on. You are stupid. What are you talking about? The choice Why was say that? yes and we. You see? But they were. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Okay. It was yes on. and we. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I have, I still have the ballot. Excuse me. If you want, we can, we excuse can me. go back and bring them. <laughs> yes and we. So we're so so you, you will have time to. And the phone was so stupid. That no, that was written that in man. French. It was written in French. French. That is the choice. So that we want to ask the question. Yes and we. No, no. Let him land. Let him land. Let him land. Let him land. No, let him land. I will do a follow up. I will do a follow up. I will do a follow up. Let him land. Do we need any constitutionality to prove that? There was no choice. If you are asked to choose between yes and no, you do you have a choice. Man, I'll do it for there me. was no choice, sir. And that is why I'm saying so that. It was illegal. Attack it. Okay. Now, I now again, senior vice. We don't even need to attack you. Because no. <laughs> now, from senior, 1961, senior vice, senior vice, senior vice, senior vice, uh, I, I want us again to look at that we and yes. I spoke with some historian and they said there was a no and non ballot, but that if it was not. Uh, circulated to most of the areas that needed that they, they we should not say there was not a we there that, that, that they, they were there was not a no and no that the yes and we ballot was there and there was a no and no ballot too that was there that was on the black paper and the yes and we ballot had its own paper now that in most of the police station it was the we and yes ballot that was there but that however some station had the no and no and we and yes but majority of the other areas in especially in the northwest and southwest had just the we and yes so to clarify that there was a we and yes and a non and no ballot presented let's clarify that for historians and those who are watching us I now his question challenging the legality i have seen the yes and we 
I've never seen the no. I've seen the no and yes. I've never yes. seen there was normally if you want to to put a choice, you will not ask somebody to choose between yes and yes. You ask him to choose between yes and no. So that if you say no, sir, if you say there was yes and yes and no and no, therefore you are confirming that there was no referendum. You are confirming because if the, if the, the choice was no and no, because no and no and then yes and we is the same thing. There was no choice. Okay. So be, there was no referendum. <laughs> we're coming back to you. Um, I don't know who, who, who okay, it's you that has to take the yes, but but Ashu, I, I'm coming back again to this terms of hijacking. I know we have moved oh, oh Mr. Suleiman, <laughs> Pastor Suleiman, let me come to you. Um it, you know the <laughs> the heated debate here sometimes you switch <laughs> No you see you see so, uh, Pastor there was, Mind, there was a... uh, do you agree do you agree with the fact that do you agree with the fact that uh, the women um meeting conventions which is coming in it's coming at the time when you know the resolution will be presented to people who are on holidays as a, a viewer said that the, unfortunately the person who's supposed to receive this file is on holiday and implementation if imf if um we have other bodies that have sat and presented you know way forward it has not been applied can these women not put this thing or what other means do they have to put this thing the government is a stubborn government the government does not listen to people the government has is synchronized and programmed way the government has its own synchronized and programmed way of doing its things it doesn't listen to people anything that is not within the all the, the the confines of what they have decided they throw it out that's the government you have so uh, we are we, we appreciate the woman we applaud the woman for what they have done but uh, to me it's a non-starter it will uh, the government will do nothing nothing if it's not within the confines of what the, the program of government they will just dump it and throw it out and it will not work he said so, sdf failed in bringing referendum no he said woefully the the SDF, federalism. Federalism. federalism no no no, no. The SDF failed woefully in bringing no you federalism. see you see you see this government uh -huh. this government the sdf and people have accepted the federal that the SDF has, has, has proposed yes in the in the in the in the no in this in the anglophone region in the francophone region are not used to federalism because the feeder is anglo saxon they are not used to it they don't even know about it it's not that they know what, what, what they call federalism so the sdf has championed the cause of federalism up to the national dialogue where the, our national chairman needs your phone stood and when he was reading when he was talking they were booing at him i was at the, at the conference yeah they were, we booing, were at him. They, they, they were booing at him they said no like as you do as you Wait, but he was called upon as a guest. The same two in Canada to me, where he was talking to, they were hushing him down. So you see, it was, it was a, I mean, I mean, I don't know what the Francophones want. No, 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 no. It's not the Francophones. <laughs> what Cameroonians? Okay, no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what the Cameroonians, uh, but I actually know what, what Cameroonians want. Because I don't know, you call for a grand national dialogue, people have come to express their views, it becomes a What way now do you suggest? What is your advice you give? No, the women, the women who, who, for way forward, what advice are you giving? The way forward is that the women have done their best, they have presented, they, we don't know what they have presented, we don't know their resolutions, until when they come next week and talk, we shall hear what they have done. But I think it's a positive step in the right direction that I have taken. It's a, good, it's a sign of good faith. We appreciate them, we thank them, but we're waiting for the resolution to see whether uh what the proposed what the government will list or government will list. now now during the time of uh senior vice Ashu was talking and when vice Ashu interjected you said um the the funcha you said estimonia was as the parliament well that in terms of the ratification of the you know 1972 referendum that it was not ratified the fact that estimonia was the speaker doesn't mean that it was ratified it was not ratified are you oh, just no. compensated him let me tell you something. No, I don't compensate them. Don't let, me, let, let me tell you something. Them. See, <laughs> let me tell you something. supposed to go back to the palace. See, no, no, let me come now, Mr. Achu. As I hear you compensate. You see, even the full man conference was a, was, was, was a gymnastics. Because even some of the Anglophones who were supposed to the Fumba conference, they did not even have the leaflet of the conference until an hour before the conference. Because they know people like PM Kale, people like Endele, people like Wotumbi Woleta, people like Enembile, they were the radical wings of the Anglophones at the, at the, at the Fumba conference. And Foncha had a negative impression about them. So he did not even present the real document of the, uh, of the conference to them. Only hours before the conference, he gave them something very voluminous. You see, so there was like there was the, was the prime uh, you, uh, 
Okay. That okay. bad faith was there. Okay. That bad faith was there. That bad faith was there. And then uh, Muna, Muna, all he wanted was he wanted power. Okay. Muna, all the gymnastics he played, he wanted power. And I just compensated him by approaching okay. the speaker. He, he only wanted Thank power. Thank you. The same thing. Uh, Senior Barista Achu, he said, I asked him a question, <laughs> Semutaga, a question about possible hijack of these women. Um, national conventions and uh, conventions. So he said that the thing here is, if it's to be hijacked, it will be hijacked by your members of your party who are already there in government. Because we have seen possible hijacking of women initiative. We saw that in Boya when the women convention at Bongo Square, it was hijacked. We saw when the women came to Kumba when they protested the killing. At one point in time, we saw money, ex money, you know, yeah, that's true. exchange that, hands. That and true. But he's accusing that it is not the opposition, that is your party that could hijack this same initiative. Cowards die many times before their deaths. What CPDM does is when something is good, we encourage it. <laughs> and when once we encourage it, instead of giving it the context, they say hijack. Okay, that is his terminology, but I will, I will always say we in the CBDM, the dog can only back when a truck is passing by, nothing else. Keep backing. That is your role, maybe as opposition party, but it will not stop us from, being, from focusing in the right direction. The CBDM is supporting peace initiatives, and this is one of the peace initiatives that, that we tie with them, and we like the way it's being organized, because it's a broad-based it's a broad base, uh, spectrum of women coming together to look at ways of solving this issue. They will make a I'm sure they'll prepare the resolutions and send to the people the powers that matter that the, the power that the power that matter powers that matter and from there you will see the positive you see what will happen now we filter into the society. If you are let's not forget if you are saying the power that matters they are on holiday so how will the resolution be the, because the point is that when once it pleases some people the government is all of us when once it displeases some people the government is another group of persons not us again you see, that's the, that's the problem we have with democracy, understand democracy in Cameroon. We don't seem to under, understand that the government is all of us. So if you blame the government, start by knocking your own head. Because you're part of it. But we, have, we need to be constructive. Like I heard, I read uh, the, on, on WhatsApp, I heard a uh, Christian time in Parliament when uh, there's an honorable gentleman, honorable parliamentarian, that posed a question to the audience about the Anglophone problem and the Northwest and Southwest crisis. I am admire the style, which was to me was very constructive. I think it was it's an SF parliamentarian. I don't know his name, yeah. unfortunately. But well, you I, didn't know his name. I don't know his name, <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoyed the way he did his yeah. presentation, yeah. and that's what we are wanting. We've been climbing on, climbing on Cameroons to do, do same. Nobody is perfect. Yeah. Okay, um, make errors. Just a minute. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Um, let's take a break. We'll come. We'll be right back. You're welcome back from that transition, uh, Baisa Achu. You were saying something about, um, um, you know, the that your party cannot hijack. It's not there. It's, it's been mal. Uh, it's been poorly uh, explained that your party supports initiative like that. Yes, and there've been so many already supported by the government. But I, 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 but what I want people to understand is that the government is you and me. Don't make us if the government. Is, so it made up of some strangers that you and me don't know. Okay. When once we've decided that I was saying point in time, some people should decide issues for you and me, we should learn to respect them. Okay. Uh, we like positive issues and not negative issues. Mm -hmm. What is anti people we don't go for it. We we'll go for things which is pro people. And CPD is a pro people party. Well like, that's why at the end of the day we always have a majority. You can say what you like to say, but at the end of the day we'll have the majority of the population behind us. There's a there's a, a, a small issue that I would like us to clarify. My learning senior said, when there's a referendum, it needs to be ratified. Yes, I was Please. about to ask you that. That is not true. When, when once the people have decided, because the people, the people are sovereign and paramount. But does it not go to... It doesn't, no, it doesn't go to anywhere. Have you heard, when have you heard that before? 
when the premiership was done in 1961, he went to which parliament? The police that in UK, I, I'm sure he went to the House of Lords. No, 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 no. Come on, I'm talking Cameroon. We're talking Cameroon. Well, but well, Cameroon does not exist in the vacuum now, senior barrister. No, at that time, at that time, at that time in, there was a parliament in Cameroon for goodness sake. Okay. Both in West Cameroon and East Cameroon, there was one. There were two parliaments. How, you went to which of them? When once the people have decided, because you know in Cameroon, changes can be brought. A, a constitutional change can be brought by the president. By to test by judge of uh, assembly or by referendum. I'll, I'll see so once those things have you, been decided upon, let me ask you a follow nobody up. else touches it. Let me ask you a follow up. Are you saying that after the referendum, vote after the referendum, people were just supposed to go to their normal activities without an official documentation and the parliament approving that? Okay, the people voted. Da 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 da. We have passed this by law and um, as as no, as no, no. ratified. What I'm saying is that to make it no, legal. There's no ratification. There's direct application. There's no ratification okay. again. Yeah, it is applied so directly. Sorry. That's why the president took it upon himself to do what he did at that time. Okay. Because they gave, they, they referred, gave him those powers to do what the people have decided it should be like this. He has to, he just has to abide by it. Full stop. Mr. Tayo Javis, I would want to say something. We need a constitutional judge or a constitutional lawyer who specializes on uh, constitutionality of laws to say so. And I, I really believe in what uh, Senior Bersal should say that. After the referendum of 1961, it was supposed to pass through the national. 1972 was supposed to pass through the national, the uh, national assembly for endorsement or for approval, which is a kind of ratification. <laughs> so I want to come back to. You just said I escaped the question on hijacking, and the uh, hijacking of initiative, and uh, uh, senior barrister Archu Julius of uh, the uh, CPDM said the always hijack, or oh, I don't know no, that the welcome initiative. the welcome initiatives that are. Uh, and encourage them. Uh, yes. uh, which are not uh, anti-government. No, no, yeah. no, that are of the interest of Cameroon. Interest of pro Cameroon, pro-people. Pro -people. Pro -people. I want to say something. That was in 2017. I think that was about uh, the uh, 31st of December. I met with uh, the Social Democratic Movement chairperson around Bamenda. Do you remember that that same year, he, yeah, the, the Social Democratic Front, SEF, he was supposed to go to Nigeria to offer uh, food items to the uh, refugees in Nigeria. The Bia's government, Konaif, the Nigeria government, blocked the borders Konaif. for him. What? Yes. Konaif. Yes. That's gospel truth. That's the gospel truth. I want to. Uh, was that and not is a, that CBDM? Yes. That's is the who, who, the president of the Republic see, of Cameroon is so the president of the CPDM. <laughs> the, national you, chairman. the national chairman. You cannot separate. Secondly, in 2019. When the CRM came up with the survivor, the Cameroon Survivor Initiative, it was the CPDM government that fought that initiative, which was an initiative in favor that was to render help to Cameroonians fight COVID-19. <laughs> now we are still coming back. What are we talking about? Yeah, both, both of we, we, <laughs> it has ended the same way the Cameroon government. We will not talk about it. I, 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 it. It surprises me that you, um, no, Mr. Tajevis, uh, uh, who is a journalist. With fifty percent of the enjoys all his uh, his his, his, his uh, mentality, his senses. You know exactly how the CPDM plays. Fifty percent of that money. No, but you are the person saying so, not me. I am saying <laughs> facts. We don't work on rumors. We are talking on facts. What I'm saying. What I'm saying today. What I'm saying. To, it's not fifty percent. That's 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 a lie from the pit of hell. That's a lie from the pit of hell. We are saying. Right. You attacked it, attacked that the 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 the, the, the of, of, attacked the, uh, the management of um, you the, the the Civic I'm not Survivor Initiative. You the 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 Just like you did, you attacked the the, the, the he attacked the Imam, he attacked the, the priest and the Catholic Church when the Catholic Church when the Catholic Church, Church when the Catholic Church said uh, they cannot fold the arms and watch people being killed in the West and South West region. Again. That is it's high time they push the government in place. You don't know what the church has of that. I will not tell you. But actually, Jesus you say what? You was know. the person who attacked the Catholic Church. No, 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 no. We are not talking about that. We are coming. No, no, we are talking about that. Jesus was representing the people. He was representing the people. He was representing who? He was representing who? No, he was representing who? Which clan? He, the people he single handedly decided he decided he decided to, to attack the Catholic Church and, and the moms okay, on other right. come to context. We are now. coming to context, like I said it. <laughs> Any initiative in Cameroon that would no I'm not personalizing. I'm, I'm not personalizing any issue in Cameroon, any, any, any initiative in Cameroon that is in the guise of pressing the CPDM regime 
in leg uh, legalizing their cosmetic measures, which they are using to solving the anglophone crisis, they will run behind because they know that you are telling me is that what the women have done. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's left. Okay. It's left. It's left okay. on, it's, it's, it's <laughs> on the uh, spectators. <laughs> we are out of, to, we are, we are it's left on the spectators we, to to observe and see we, if this initiative it, will produce any tangible we, food. We are, we are. I just said that any initiative <laughs> that is in the guise to legitimize because. If you have been supporting but initiatives but that but are acting in, in, favor of, in, favor, in favor of the people, there are other political parties that have initiated, have, have initiated initiatives okay. that are Thank you, working for the people no that the CBM has fought time. against Thank it. You. Thank you. Uh, Senior Barrister Ashu, maybe want to react to what Barrister Ashu and Manuel said? This is Ashu. Ashu, Ashu, Ashu. Yes, you want to react to what Barrister Ashu and Manuel said? Well, I think what uh, Semutaga said about the SDF representative who wanted, wanted to help the refugees in Nigeria was correct. Uh, the government stopped the initiative. They said knife now. I say it's correct in the sense that the government stopped the initiative. Whether they connive with Nigeria, I don't know that one. It was stopped. But again, for the survivor initiative, I remember that Pendai Kuka finally gave his material to the government. Oh, thank you, sir. He finally gave. Thank you, sir. So they when you say, the excuse no, me, sir. The no. government refused. I stand, I stand for the no, truth. No, no, it's his turn. No, okay, land. sir. I stand for the we truth. We don't have time. Okay. You said the government refused to tell you. I said no. Finally, he went to Minister of Health and he was asked to take it to Minister of Territorial Administration, which he did. So, it was accepted. No, we reached the Minister no, of Territorial then... Administration and the minister decided to, to quit his office. He loved his office that day. He are good to so was he accepted sir. or not? Was he accepted? They were, accepted. They were not accepted. They were accepted. They were not accepted. They were not accepted. The end. The end point is that they were accepted. They were accepted. They were not accepted. Was accepted. They were not accepted. It is acceptance. It's acceptance. The substance here is the acceptance. It's acceptance. <laughs> no, they were not accepted. The first day when the goods came, are you not using the minister? You should be the ministry. Yes. Come on, you still have us and tell us that we are beginning. We need to prepare the ceremony. The what kind of ceremony? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether the two of you are. Is this a gang up? <laughs> we stand for the truth, sir. No, 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 no. It's not accepted. No, it's so not accepted. I stand for the truth. Three persons here have said it was accepted. I am in the house and I said it was not accepted. Three persons have said it was accepted. You are outside the house. No, no, no. You are SDF saying it was accepted. Three persons have said 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 it was accepted. See, somebody wants to accept your view. I don't know what we're not going to accept. They refuse to accept the, the gift in front of the camera. In front no, no, of the no, camera no, no, and, no, no, and accepted. No, no, it is no, our no. gift, not your gift. What do you mean? The people's Why gift, do you accept the people's gift? Why do you accept the people's gift? Why do you accept Other individuals are refused from the CRM. See, it's okay. So you have accepted what the people give them. Same Samutaga. It's okay. Samutaga, Pastor Raman, Senior Vice Achu, and Senior Vice Achu. Nobody's ganking up here. I'm sure that they both have disagreed on several issues, and we must agree where we have to agree and disagree where we have to disagree. Yes. Your last shot before we go way forward. Well, uh, like I said earlier, um, we thank the women for coming forth with this uh, initiative. Somebody asked here who was organizing. I think it was organized by the Frederick Eschbeck uh, Foundation. Uh, we thank them for that type of initiative. But my big question is, why would they accept that women should organize, but when men want to organize, they refuse? Because Cardinal Tumi, until he even died, was struggling to organize something for all Angofos to come together. Why refuse? Now they're accepting the one for the women. I hope they will also accept if some other initiative comes from the men to bring together all Angofos, because all those type of initiatives are good in the interest of peace. And I want to encourage the women, as I said, they should go in for something that can bring pressure to bear on this government. Let the government organize the peace effort because we want this thing to come to an end. Let us sit on the table and write what went wrong so that there can be peace. Um, so, was the Reform Party is going to join the women next time? If we're invited, why not? Why not? Yeah, even, even the SDF party, even, even invited, will be there. Okay. Will be there. And, um, uh, before we go here, last word, and uh, word to the people of Kumba. No, we, are, we thank the women. I think uh, all of us want peace. 
nobody say nobody detest peace one peace for without peace we cannot uh, we cannot have, have any meaningful growth and development prosperity and progress of our country so we need peace i think we thank the women for that for makumba people uh we at least we thank sonel now for at least we have gone for almost how many days to be light we thank sonel for that at least uh we appreciate them and uh makumba people just remain steadfast sdf <laughs> will bring meaningful change in the town okay um before we take leave of you senior barrister achu Emmanuel, your last word? Julius. Please. Actually, Julius. Yes. Actually, Julius. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I cannot take my the place of my senior. <laughs> He's my senior. Uh -huh. So, um, to, uh, to the, uh, from my own observation, I strongly feel those who took up arms for secession have dropped their arms. And those who are there now with guns are thieves and thugs. <laughs> because you see, I noticed that a good section of Cameroonians have moved to Nigeria who were not who were in the armed struggle. Yes. There's this heavy population of guys who were who believe in this nonsense and they try and only to come and realize that at the end of the day there's something wrong about it. And they move to Nigeria and elsewhere. There are even some of them are even in Douala here. We know them and in Yaoundé. Which means as they've dropped their arms, it means they had the intention, what they had at the very beginning was of good faith, only to realize that this thing is not good. Okay, our women have come out with an initiative. To me, I will encourage any peace initiative anywhere, anytime in Cameroon. And I will call on others to do the same. I'm not a member of a government to talk on behalf of the government, but I'm very certain that the government that we have under the leadership of uh, the Prime Minister, Chief uh, Dr. Jongute, is going to make, take appropriate steps to ensure that the resolutions of this peace initiative be carried out to the best of his competence. Okay. And that's what we should appreciate and that's what we should encourage rather than constant fighting over issues which is of no importance. Yeah, last one before we go briefly, we're out of time. Yes, uh, I wish to advise our brothers who carry arms and they are fighting the regular soldiers that uh, war is not the best thing. And that to the soldiers themselves, they are fighting their brothers. The regime in place, what I want them to understand is no matter how long this war will go on, we shall finally sit at the table of dialogue. So it's needless wasting the taxpayers' money fighting the taxpayers again. So let them release Ayuk Tabe, Manchu BBC, and the rest in the prison, and even the CRM militants who are in the prison sit at the table of dialogue and talk the way forward for this nation. Okay. We love this nation. And for the women, whatever initiative that is to call for peace, we encourage it. Let them not allow the initiative to be okay. hijacked and manipulated by the CPDM thank regime. Thank you. Um, thank you all for coming, gentlemen. Um, thank you, Pastor Aman, for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and of course, this program will rebroadcast at exactly uh, 10:30 today, Sunday, Monday. It will be rebroadcast at 9:30, and the program comes up every Sunday at exactly 12 to 1:30. It will be on our YouTube channel, BT Media Group. Is our YouTube channel, BT Media Group. Our website, our uh, Twitter handle is My Media Prime, Facebook My Media Prime. I leave you with this: No matter the matter, what matter is your matter. No matter the matter, what matter is your matter. And what should matter for you? today is that nobody hands are tight they only become tight when we want to do the right thing in the way that we feel it will affect us negatively my name is tamai javis from cameron's economic capital duwala feng gudrong bangekoto bonamusadi bye bye from this end mm -hmm.